Hey guys, my name is Komsan and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News. A series that I do on every Friday, which I recap all the news within this past week. So let's just begin. We got a ton of great news. We got more news, book news, and something that's happening with FNAF World. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And let's get on with the news. So apparently, uh, Hex is full Spring Trap Wave, including the long-awaited Plus releases in July. So this month, not exact date, but he is releasing this month. So, if, for those people that did not know, that uh, Swing Chop was actually the lady. He was supposed to come with uh, Withered Golden Freddy and Withered Chica, but he didn't come. There was something wrong with him, so they had to pull him back, some, give him some time or something. And now he's finally coming out, and he comes with some new promotional art, which looks so cool. It's like Swing Trap with some purple stuff behind him, and it shows all the animatronics and even Golden Freddy in the back. It's very cool. I think it comes with it. I'm not sold. Maybe something special. But Splain Trap is finally coming, which is awesome news. We also got some YouTube's news. So YouTube has released upcoming plushies of Withered Freddy and Withered Foxy for, from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. This is what they look like. They're pretty cute looking. Uh, Freddy looks kind of weird. It looks a little bit anime-esque. But uh, he has some wires popping out, which I love when things are into detail like that. So it gives that... It feels like makes them more like in from the game, you know. You know what I'm talking about. But also Foxy, pretty sure there's an iPad that can flip up and down, which is very cool. Though they upcoming, so we don't gotta release it yet. So keep that in mind. We also got some news from Medicom, a company I never heard of. Uh, well, they are releasing a Five Nights at Freddy's book, a uh, Bell Boy figure in the line's 48th series this month. So I never heard of this company before, but. There's like a little mini figure of Freddy Fazbear, and they're doing a lot of other figures. Uh, I just saw the image right here of this Freddy because I, you guys only care about Freddy Fazbear. It's like a PlayStation one and stuff like that, but I don't really care about those ones. This is FNAF, you know. But I'm a, like, it, it looks it looks okay. It's not the best thing I've ever seen. Lego would probably do it better, but you know, it will probably never make a Lego version of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's like that one fan game, which was really cool, but they had to take it down, I believe. But cool i guess uh it's releasing this month apparently so awesome <laughs> also we got some funko news so well what you wish for funko's five nights of Freddy's 10th anniversary mystery minis all revealed these these are the chances of which figure little mini figure you would get so Freddy is one out of six uh, with his eyes open like not, not halfway open bonnie is one out of six same with Foxy and chica uh foxy i think that's withered uh withered uh Freddy is one out of 12, same with Withled Bonnie. Fo Withled Foxy is one out of 24, and same with Withled Chica. Uh, Golden Freddy is one out of 26, or 36, I can't really tell, it's very far away. Uh, the Melionette, I think, is one out of 36, too. The Cupcake is one out of 72, and the FNAF 2 Endo is one out of 72. So, dang! Those are some crazy numbers, so you might have to buy 72 of these boxes to get... Actually, not... Yeah, yeah, you basically have to buy 72 boxes of this to actually get all the figures. Which, in my opinion, that's kind of crazy. I think this to be reduced a little bit, but... I'm not Funko. Uh, do not go into Bank Whoopsie because of this, guys, but... Buy them. Maybe you get lucky. I hope you get lucky. Get the one you want the most, but... That is crazy. Also, we got some exclusive first look at an upcoming sister location sort featuring Enord by Hex. The stress designed to represent Enord's attack on Michael, releasing in a special launch with the Enord Plus. So whenever Enord Plus is, uh, this t-shirt is coming out too. t shirt's very cool. There's like a bunch of TV Enords on top, and he says, come closer. Stop clowning around because, you know, he's kind of like a clown. It's a funny joke, but the t-shirt's actually pretty cool, and um, it's, it's pretty badass. Now, that's all the most news. Not as crazy as last week, but it was still a bunch of most news. So, we got some book news now. The Walmart exclusive Tales from the Pizza Plex bind up book containing Haps and Somnophobia releases on July 9th, including a never before published story in Fold Out Postal. This is only going to be at Walmart, so make sure you grab it. It is coming out on this July 9th. It comes with two volumes, I believe. So, definitely pick it up if you're a collector. Uh, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, probably gonna be like, I don't know, fifteen dollars or something. I don't, I don't know how expensive books are nowadays. But that's pretty cool. I can't wait for what the new story is gonna be about. So that's very, it could be something very interesting. So we don't know. And games, uh, Mega Cat Studio has reassured fans that Jeff's Pizza episode Five Nights at Freddy's in the Pit is still being worked on. 
and the person said it's still happening just don't have any news on the new date yet so this is like a, oh, like three weeks ago when uh, there was supposed to be like an ARG for uh, the new financial footage into the pit game but something happened it had to be delayed and we still don't know what's going on but it's still gonna be happening apparently they have a month to fix this so I hope it gets finished by then other than that they'd be disappointing if it's not because this could be very cool leak was did already i think leaked the entire thing but i haven't seen anybody talk about it which is good because i want to keep it a mystery no released it yet so that is very very disappointing and the final news of this week with fnaf forward so something happened with fnaf forward i would just say johnny block said it. this is where i get all my news from johnny block so clarifying the fnaf forward steam discussing since i'm seeing some confusion the free version of fnaf forward has been removed from steam likely to resolve an exploit to access the version using a download console or command if you already own the title, you'll be unaffected. The paid version, which has been removed for several years, also see an updated branch is seemingly being worked on via a private board by Scott. Until there is further information, I'd recommend keeping your expectations low. This could just be Scott doing some more cleaning. I'll update if any other official word. And same, I would do the same too. If Johnny Block says anything or I get any news from anything, I would tell you guys. But basically, right now, there was an exploit with Steam. Uh, the spiffing boy, he does a lot of exploits with stuff in games and in real life, and something happened with the new Steam Stone Summer Style, and it really affects PayPal, and with this FNAF 4 codes and other games like that that are unlisted games, people can eat, and people can get free money basically from it, and uh, that's fraud, which is illegal, and you shouldn't do because you can be fined and put in jail, so this really needs to be fixed, and I already own FNAF World on Steam. I actually used the console command before all this crap happened, so I'm lucky. But for you guys, I hope you'll be able to get on Steam because Steam, everybody likes to have their games on Steam. I don't like, I have Game Jolt too, you know, but I like my games on Steam, you know. But I hope this issue is fixed. Maybe Scott would just make it public on Steam. I don't know why he didn't. It's kind of stupid in my opinion. There was an X point with Steam right now, and that is why unlisted games are not being allowed to put in, because people are allowing to get CSGO stuff and other things for free that are unlisted and sell them on the market for money, and that's fraud, which is illegal. But I'll update you guys if I get any news on that. But that is all the news for this week. Not crazy like last week, but we got some serious topics like the FNAF 4 thing and some awesome more to talk about but if you guys like this video please like and subscribe i do this every friday so make sure you press that notification bell so you get all the weekly fnaf news but i will see you guys later